Hello and welcome back to the SCSP community channel. I'm your host Kizza. Today the tool that we are going to be looking at is an OSINT tool. Now before we go to the tool let's have a little bit of background what OSINT is. Uh, OSINT is basically open source intelligence and it uh, basically what it is it's actually just gathering information from different resources different open source sources so that could be uh, social media or emails or whatever publicly is available if you are gathering information that is present on these public uh, publicly available sites that is OSINT basically right and you can also read the definition over here as well <clears throat> so okay and there's another thing that i would like to point out here now this version of linux that i'm using over here is t surugai now this version of the linux is particularly famous for osint if you are into osint searches you have a lot of pre-installed tools over here so this particular version of Linux is known as the T-Surugai is your thing if you wanna be doing OSINT related stuff or it's also used for digital forensics as well or malware research for that as well right so Without further ado, let's move on to the tool. The tool that we're going to be looking at today is an OSINT tool and it's called Buster. Now, Buster um, is a tool which is actually used to get information on email IDs, right? It is a tool which is used to generate and verify emails and return information associated with them, right? And then we're going to see the use of this tool right now. Uh, so you've got different flags over here. So we're just going to go ahead and type this command, right? That I already had typed. Let me go ahead go back. There you go. So what we're doing in this command right here is uh, we have given a dash E flag over here. Now what that uh, uh, tells is that you're going to be adding an email pattern that you're going to tell it, hey, I want an email ID that looks something like this, right? And then for dash F, you will tell the first name, dash L for the last name, and dash B for the birth for the date of birth right now these are statics now if you know all of these so the this one is the date and this these two are the month and then i have uh, inputted the year i happen to remember the year so you can go ahead and try it out with the whole uh, without the statics if you know the whole date of birth and whatnot so when you press enter it will start generating patterns of different emails and start verifying if those emails actually exist or not so it is doing it right now now it does tell you you have uh, as it is telling me right now that i have reached my daily limit well actually i ran a scan beforehand and well it actually makes this request through the use of an api and it's not really uh you can't you can only make certain amount of requests through that api so i've already done that it's a good thing that i already did the uh, did it beforehand so you can actually see the output right so here's the here's the command that i wrote and here it was able to generate six possible emails j.do and it found profiles on pinterest twitter Foursquare, Spotify, and these are the uh, sources validating it. And then another pattern of the same email, or uh, it's another pattern, right? The pattern that I provided it, it's actually generating 
the uh, emails based on this pattern right here so this one it was able to find it on twitter and it's it is validating through all of these sources so this is how this tool works is basically if you have any email id that you would like to know if it exists based upon uh, parameters like first name last name or uh, and birth date of birth so you can go ahead and use this tool and that's pretty much it for this tool and if you enjoyed the video uh, please do like and share and of course leave a comment down below if you if you happen to have any questions thank you that be it